Hey guys, King Kate here and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to texture things in Blender. Let's get right into this. So I made tons of videos but I never made an actual video showing y'all how to properly like color and texture things in Blender. So I'm going to be showing y'all how to do that. So we have a blank canvas right here. Let's just go ahead and delete those two things right there. Let's keep the cube and also by the way all the controls that I am clicking are down here at the bottom right just in case if y'all get confused. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make something super simple real quick. I'm just going to click shift D to duplicate these cubes and then I'm just gonna kind of move them randomly and I'm just doing this but y'all would probably already have something that you want to texture so we now have this random formation of cubes right here so I'm gonna be showing you how to texture this so first of all what you want to do click on the shading tab right here at the top and then it will open up this screen right here so you'll have your base texture right here if you already like if you're using the main cube but if you add it in any parts it's most likely gonna look like this right here so if it's blank click new just like this and then it will open up this this thing right here and what you want to do is add in a color palette so a color palette is like this thing right here this is the one that like tons of people use so yeah this is the one that i'm using if you want this just go ahead and join my discord server the link is in the description and then just dm me for it if you need it but before you dm me what i recommend doing is going into google and typing in blender color palette and this one will most likely pop up so it's just blender color palette and this will most likely pop up but if you can't find it just dm me on discord and then this is it right here so yeah so what we are going to do just go into your file and drag it in just like this right here just grab it from like your file folder drag it in and here it is so what you want to do just connect this little color thing right here to the base color and that's pretty much all you have to do it will look really random like this but that's okay just connect the color to the base color and now once we do this just go over to uv editing right here go ahead and click it and then you have two screens this screen right here and this screen right here so on the screen right here it will only show up whatever selected so what i recommend doing is going over to face select because that's the best and then whenever you click it would just show show up the face that you select but what i recommend doing for most things just go into like whatever point of view like such as this one right here a to select everything and then click a u and then go down where it says project from view right here and then on here it will just project it like this let's say i want it from here i would click u project from view and then it looks like this but i personally like it like this right here it's also really good for adding gradients this way because you know like which one's the bottom and which one is the top also what you can do to select individual things is you can click l such as if i hover over this thing right here and i click l it will only select this cube same with this one if i hover over it click l it will only select this cube and i can do this with many other ones so let's say i want to select this one let's click l highlight it like this drag over the box select all the vertices and then just click g so g is what you use to move it around you can also scale it up and down so we can just click s to scale it we can also click sx to scale it that way and we can also click sy to scale it that way if we want to but it's a cube so we're just going to scale it down and we want to kind of add a gradient so we're gonna do these ones let's actually do this purple gradient right here so if you just wanted a solid color then you would scale it down so if we did this it would pretty much just show up as a solid color also i forgot to mention for things to actually show up go back over to this screen right here hover over something hold down z and then go down to material preview right here and then let go so then you'll be able to see the colors so as you can see if we click tab to tab out you'll see that's pretty much just one solid color we just have the shadow but if we go ahead and go back over here let's just scale it up so let's scale it up like this let's move it like that and then and if we tap out that we'll see that is a gradient so we can do this with many other things let's just go ahead and click this one right here let's select it let's scale it down let's move it over here let's scale it up and as you can see it is a gradient and if you want everything to just be one solid color you can click a to select everything and then you could just like go like this scale it down and then we can just like toss it right over there if you want to and it will just be one solid color just like that besides this one because i didn't select it over here as you can see just one solid color if you want it to be like that let's actually go ahead and exit out of that though and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make all of these like a different color and there we go all the cubes are a different color right here and looking pretty nice besides this one actually so let's go ahead and click l to select that and let's just make this one probably make it gray there we go so there we go all of these are different colors looking pretty nice and that's pretty much how you color things and if you want to go back to the regular preview just go over here to layout just like this and then you have this and also once again in layout if you want to see the colors material preview just like this and then we have our colored item right here so, so that is how you texture things on blender though so that's gonna be all for this video so go ahead and leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see you all in the next video